All right, so we shall pick up where we left off. When you feel overwhelmed or unfocused, do you have anything you do that tends to get you back into the zone? I spend all of my spring, summer, and fall ferociously gardening. Uh, for me, working the soil after working the clay is the most curative of things. Um, and I miss it in winter, although it's good that one doesn't have to do it all year round. Uh, <laughs> skiing, exercising, um, and allowing myself to not work when it's impossible. There are days where it just does not work. The head is not in the same space as the hands or is just not does not have any space to allow itself to focus and i think especially for an artist concentration is the most important thing almost one of the most important things the ability to concentrate for an extended period of time on a very specific issue, on an eyelid, until it does or what I want it to do, or I understand what it could do. And that can take a long time and that can never have an answer. Hopefully the answer will, you know, every time I work a new piece, um, grow. And it can even be that for days on end, I rework the same spots, but it doesn't change. Um, so this, yeah, so this concentration to really put concentration onto my quest, my craft, my work, very focused concentration. And that leaves you very tired for the rest of the day to actually, so to have two concentrated work periods of first the clay in the morning and the music at night is a lot. And the lack of energy that I can end up with in between can lead to depression. And to alleviate that depression, for me, gardening or exercising are two means that work. At the end of the day, what message, if any, are you trying to share with the world? Right now, I would say humanity given that we are not just at the brink of a war, but actually at the beginning of one. Um, I think when I sculpt characters, I always search for their humanity. I want to see what they have, for better or worse, lived. What has changed them? Um, and I guess for me in music, it is similar. There is a lot of things that are well, basically, what is art? Art is trying to translate the untranslatable into something that gives, recreates in us that feeling that we recognize, that we recognize, but cannot, well, a poet will put it into some kind of words that recreates in me, when I read them, 
or hear them, that sense, that feeling that I myself cannot put into words, not really describe. Looking at a sculpture, I, it brings something up in me that I recognize that makes me feel good about myself, that rec makes me recognize myself, that speaks to me in some form. And the artist is almost like the messenger or the one who manages to touch that feeling enough to in a form recreated by the person who receives it. Um, I wish that we would remember solidarity with one another, not just what we can achieve for ourselves, but what we can achieve for the community, for the neighbor who is not as fortunate, for whatever reasons, to recognize that how lucky each of one of us is and how much luck has been part of why we are where we are. And if a certain solidarity and community fails, then we are in a very sad world. And this is something that is more and more being challenged for us to recognize that we need community. We need solidarity. We need to look after one another. We need social systems. <laughs> Women more than men, children definitely. And to recognize that yes, even for those who do well in a pandemic, we are all the same. It hits all of us the same. So maybe this can be a lesson of how can I give back? How can I share? How, what is really important to me? Where, where, what do I really need? What can I, is it maybe more beautiful to share? Sharing is a beautiful experience. It really is. Giving is an enormously good experience. It makes you feel so good. And it's, I think, very important that we remember this, start to remember this now at this point in time. How do you determine what you're gonna work on next? I do, how do I determine what I work on next? I am in the process of challenging, challenging myself with a different way of creating tall sculptural pieces that are not too heavy for my poor back that come in several sections. What can one do with several sections, with the possibility that that opens up? I also would really like to add different materials 
that are added once the clay piece is fired. And that is a big challenge if we are talking a sculpture for outdoors. And I have no idea what all that means. <laughs> it's the very beginning of this challenge. So I'm naturally very frustrated. <laughs> and keep putting it aside and going for things which are less frustrating. At the same time, it keeps being there and wanting to be looked at. So I'm making first forays. We fire in spring, so I will not know where any of this goes before summer. Because right now I'm making, I'm modeling stuff. In spring we fire, in summer we open, and you can come and see what if anything came out of it. <laughs> and I guess that would lead me into, into my next question. Where can we find your work? Well, let me first talk about the other part of my life, the music, the jazz. For the jazz, we, with my ensemble, with Michael Hines on keyboard, Sandy Lake on uh, trumpet and voice, and now Claude Prudhomme on guitar, we are exploring original material, which is written at this point by Stanley Lake and also by Michael Hines. So these are original music pieces, songs. I believe Claude Prudhomme would, will also bring some. We did come out with a CD just before COVID, I believe. <laughs> but we are starting on a new CD track. This is highly exciting. This is fascinating to work original material. They're both very, very different composers. So on top of the improvisation, they're also now not music standards, jazz standards, where everybody knows the tune, but learning, understanding, and doing justice to a new and often intricate tune. So that is very exciting. To your questions of where do you find my work? My artwork you find at my place in the Eastern Townships, in outside of Mansonville, in the banlieue of Duncan, <laughs> on Röterbrook, 107 Chemin Röterbrook. Uh, which is the location of our pottery. We are, for the garden art, we open from May to end of September about. We are part of the Tour des Arts, which was created by my husband, Stanley Lake, in 1988, which is, I believe, now the oldest studio tour in Quebec very successful studio tour. We are opening this summer with, I believe, oh, are we 39 artists? I think so. Um, we always have new artists. We have uh, us who've been there for a long time. Our opening dates are July 16 to 24. Uh, you can contact us at Tour des Arts. It's T-O-U-R. Oh, what am I saying? Tour des Arts. T O U R D E S A R T S dot com. It's our website. You can find all the artists there. You can create your itinerary. We have an ex exhibition of all the members at Art Sutton, Gallery Art Sutton and Sutton during the same time. For the music, you will find us at suttonjazz.com, which is a Jazz Festival created by Stanley Lake, which is now, I believe, also in its 22nd year. Don't, don't, well, anyways, I hope I'm right. <laughs> and uh, well, this festival, because of COVID, had to move outdoors two years ago. 
and will now happen during the whole summer. I believe we open June 6 and go right into the beginning of September. Every Saturday, outdoors, 4 to 6 p.m. You go to suttonjazz.com. Almut Ellinghaus Trio is where you're going to find us. And uh, you can reach us there. Or you contact me at almajazz at gmail.com. We also have a Honeysuckle Facebook page. And there is the Homebrew Dixieland page, which is my husband's. So lots of music. We do weddings, we do parties, we do divorces, we do funerals. <laughs> We do everything. <laughs> Buy the package. <laughs> do you have anything extra you'd like to tell the camera before we leave? I want to say thank you for inviting me. Thank you for the very interesting questions. Um, yeah, it's, it's interesting to have to do this introspection of why, how, what <laughs> not easy not easy questions to answer <laughs> but thank you and i just want to say uh, if how wonderful it is to have your radio station it's uh, i know that you're a supporter of the Todizar, that you have been very involved with sudden jazz and it is so much appreciated and uh, to have that support and to have to know that you are really supporting the community you are um, talking about the community, you are involved with the community, so you invite people from the community. So it's uh, it's wonderful. It's really wonderful to have this. And thank you for doing all that work. CIDI 99.1, Artists of the Week. Thank you so much to our guests, and we'll see you next time.